What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is Alvin Rock again. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can recreate this viral editing style only using Filmora or CapCut. As of last week, Instagram dropped a f***ing massive update. From now on, every single one of your videos has the potential to show up when someone searches on Google. But with And look handsome, even though I am using Filmora, you can use CapCut for this tutorial because both of them have the same interface. So don't worry about it, just follow along the tutorial and by the end of the video, you will be able to recreate the exact editing style. Open up a new project, which is going to be 16 per 9 inches. You're going to understand by the end of the video, just follow along with me. I'm going to press new project here. Then I'm going to simply drag and drop this Vinjato's video because we're going to use it as a reference, right? So I'm going to drop into the timeline here in the top, key project settings, and then you're going to simply create a new form by clicking here, rectangle, and you're going to set a rectangle form this way. Change the color into great or anything that you like better mode. Okay. We just need it as a background to understand better how it's going to work. We're going to change it in a while. So first of all we need to find the first animation is going to be a massive update from now on every single one of your videos has the potential to show up when someone searches on google okay basically now we're going to start with doing this animation and this is how it goes as of last week instagram dropped a fucking massive update from okay simply drag and drop here the first icon literally there so we need to do some keyframes animation here basically from here we need to cut it off and then here goes like this okay so we, ne we need to mark, mark the first keyframe in transform right okay so what i'm gonna do simply click here and rotation then we're gonna start rotating the this way here down below until it goes like this right then it goes up cool so we need to bring it up this way turn it around turn it around like this and there it is okay so let's select let's make sure we have all keyframes at the right time so it goes like this okay it's actually working well bro when i was six years old i broke my leg i was running from my brother and his friends and taste the sweet perfume out of my in and easy job. okay then i created a new compound clip into this logo png right and inside of this compound clip i started to adjust in the keyframes position just to make sure it's going to match the same distance as david jato's literally here then you're gonna go to the speed tab and you're going to adjust it just to make sure it's going to be the same speed as david's logo instagram dropped a the opacity to the middle <clears throat> just to know exactly where it's gonna end video do some drop shadow and set the color to black set the opacity to 100 percent everything looks well looks good opacity then blur blur distance it doesn't have to be that blurred right it has to be this way distance something closer then set the blur this way i think it looks way better instagram dropped a okay so literally here is going to disappear so we need to set the keyframe of opacity start going down there so now what you're gonna do is gonna create a new rectangle you're gonna set the rectangle like really big like this you're gonna unmark the board the fill you're gonna turn into this black here scale it down here you're gonna mark one keyframe here and then literally here you're gonna increase the scale this way after this you're gonna increase the opacity to 100 percent now you create a compound clip then you increase the opacity down like this and then you're gonna go to mask rectangle then you're gonna find literally here literally here in the middle then the corners you're gonna turn like this till you find the right position go to basic opacity to 100 percent mask mark all the keyframes and then here you're going to you're gonna do this it has to be this way probably literally here this way it just has to open up like this okay great and then you pick this compound clip, find the middle of the screen, and you're gonna set it in the middle of the screen. This is the anchor point that we created. Another compound clip again. 
Then we're gonna to the middle of the image, which is gonna be same as Davy. And we are going to set the, the same position as the video there. The Instagram logo it has to be here in the middle, this way, and then the opacity to 0%. And then here, we're gonna find the opacity to 100%. Now you're gonna mark the first keyframe and set 100% again just to see the animation. Transform, you're gonna mark all keyframes. Then a few seconds forward, you're gonna move this red to make the rotation animation. The right position, which is going to be here. I'm gonna mark all keyframes, bells curves, easy in, bells curves, easy out. Let's see how it looks. Key. Now we need to set opacity here to zero and then Literally here in the middle is going to be a hundred percent like this Key. Now create a new compound clip on it. Okay at this part here We need to set opacity anywhere to 50% to see the same form behind which is in the video And we need to increase the scale to make sure it's gonna match the same object in his video, right? So what we're gonna do is create a new form rectangle Set another rectangle here and then the borders you're gonna take it off so it has to look like something like that, right? So we need to set the color uh, like this. I think it looks great. Is the opacity down like this. Then create another form rectangle. Literally here inside. Take it off the borders. And then you're just going to simply do this. Because it's going to be the ball. Which is going to be moving. Then right button of the mouse. Create a component clip. Button. Switch. Set one keyframe in transform. Then literally here, then here in position, you're going to scroll to the right side to move the ball. The keyframe, right bottom of the mouse, select the all keyframe, right bottom of the mouse, bezel curves, easy in, bezel curves, easy out. Great, let's see how it looks. Cool. And the one behind is going to be the big one. It has to change the color, copy the rectangle. I'm going to paste here and literally here in the top, I'm going to create a rectangle, which is going to be green like this, right? Right bottom of the mouse, create a compound clip, green, bottom. Okay, pay attention here because this is going to be very important. So literally here, when the, where the button changes, you're going to move it to the top. Okay, and here you're going to set the opacity to zero. And when it goes there, 100%, right? Now what you're going to do, effect, glow color, then you're going to put it there. Click the effect, set the radius of the effect literally closer, which is going to be the feathering. And by the way, this is a free preset. Also, the button switch, what you're going to do, set the drop shadow like this, projection. You're going to set a black shadow. You're going to move it closer, distance one opacity you're gonna set the opacity somewhere to 33 i guess 33 the blurness is gonna be two okay let's see how it looks update two. i'm gonna go to the internet and find anything that i want to put in this part pick this one save image save image i'm gonna pick this one here and then i'm gonna literally drop to the program here at the top all right all right now I'm gonna scale it down, come here, smart cut off, and then we're gonna select exactly what I want, which is going to be all of this part. Great, I think it looks, it looks awesome for me. We don't need something perfect, we just need to set this thing at the bottom of the bottom, bottom of the bottom. Driving the night, see so Now what, what I wanna do, let me just unseen this, unseen this, see this, see this, see this, and see exactly where the symbol appeared. Okay, it's gonna appear literally here, so that's what we need to do. It's gonna scale it up and appear. Here, right so i'm gonna mark everything transform and then literally there i'm gonna move it to this side scale it up and then set all keyframe a bell's curve easy in those curves easy out Key. so we're just gonna go like this now what we need to do hide the keyframe animation create a new compound clip on an icon now what we need to do effects just type in or find this one drop into the icon the square size to five and then the opacity to 70 percent Simply do this and then I'm gonna add a glow effect on it, which is going to be the, the one I always use. Mine, color, glow color, this, feathering, okay, intensity, 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 down, blur, intensity, just gonna make it looks like this, great. And then I'm gonna set the opacity to zero at the beginning. 
in here the opacity to 100% make sure we need to pick this rectangle we need to set a new compound clip on it then we're gonna set opacity to zero then like this great the button is the same thing we need to set the opacity to zero at the beginning and then 100% when it comes here right great so everything looks smooth by the end of the video okay here great now we need to select everything right below the mouse create compound compound clip on a button section great cool i'm gonna set into pink and see exactly where the zoom in comes so literally here is start the zoom in so i'm gonna set transform keyframe and here is gonna be the end of the keyframe i'm gonna zoom in this way and put it here in the middle great i'm gonna select this keyframe make it looks like this select the all keyframe bells curves is in bells curves easy out let's see how it looks okay. it has to be closer than the other one it has to be literally here again Massive. no more even more Massive update okay great it just looks perfect we're gonna set a shadow drop shadow here then projection we're gonna change the drop shadow into black the distance is gonna be somewhere closer opacity to 100 closer very there is okay cool great now i'm gonna give you one trick it's gonna make it look even better i'm gonna copy and pay here okay? the one in the bottom what you're gonna do create a new component clip on it right okay great i'm gonna rename it to white back then what you're gonna do you simply gonna apply a blur effect on it where is it where is it video effect blur let's set the blur here behind it great and then the color you're gonna turn everything the exposure to 100 brightness 100 uh contrast let's see what make it bright brighter 100 black 100 okay white 100 okay curve set curves everything to 100 here to 100 here 100 then you're gonna click here the video blurness and you're gonna make it like this right i'm gonna select this video here here down below just move it a little bit to the left then move it here down down there doesn't look that well that good just gonna see if the opacity it can be something like this okay so the icon looks like this because i had to take here in the background and what we want to do now is basically leave the animation like this as of last week instagram dropped a fucking massive update Okay, so we've just finished this animation here with uh, some time, but it actually works really well. Okay, and in this part, it just disappear here. So we need to move it. Hold on, we need to move a little few seconds back part. Got a king massive update. For okay a fucking massive update for great now we need to pick everything together create a new compound clip on it button movement okay and then we're gonna set this button to pink and now what we have now we have this animation and literally here we need to make it disappear so we set one keyframe of opacity goes to zero cent here again okay and literally here what you're gonna do set one keyframe then the last keyframe you're gonna literally crow to the, curl it up this way right and the keyframe of opacity gonna bring it to the same side select all keyframes all keyframe right without the mouse bells curves easy in bells curves easy out from now on and then, and then this is how from it now on okay. from now on great now you're gonna hide the keyframe as of last week instagram dropped a fucking massive update from now on every single one of your videos has the potential to show up when someone searches on google but with Ooh. This re <laughs> well, if you think this video deserves a like, please hit the like button, bro. This video gave me so much work to do, and I had to spend more than three hours with this tutorial because I've made many mistakes and I bring only the thing that you need to make this editing insane. If you want to see the part two of this video where I'm gonna show you how to do the Google animation, just drop a comment here, drop the second tutorial, Alvin, and give me your feedback. You must give your feedback here in the description down below, bro. Because I need to know if keep recording this type of video worth. Okay, okay. I know you may be a little mad at me because I didn't drop the part of Google animation. But I've recorded already. I just need you to come in here down below to know if recording this type of video actually worth your attention. So please drop a comment down below. And by the way, if you have any requests for me, like editing style that you want to see, like faceless YouTube channel, Imangachi, anything that you see in the internet, drop a comment here, drop the link, and I will bring the tutorial for you. I will see you in the next video.